What's up, y'all? We are five days out from the 2023 Classic Physique Olympia. Brant with CPC Bodybuilding bringing you my top 10 picks. In 10th, I have Wesley Vissers of the Netherlands. The most Arnold-esque classic competitor won this year's Europa Spain Pro and finished 8th at last year's Olympia. He has crisp lines and a very proportionate physique. Ninth place, Vahid Badpe of Iran. He dominated the 2023 Thailand Pro with some of the best conditioning I've ever seen. He has the freak factor, dense, grainy, and hard muscle, paired with great shape. In eighth, the conditioned king of classic, the Saharan Eagle, Michael Daboul of Syria. Michael won two of the biggest classic shows this year, Pittsburgh and New York Pro. With the increased weight caps, I expect to see a fuller look with the same great condition Michael is known for. Seventh place is Mike Sommerfeld of Germany. He won the Saudi Pro very early in the 2023 season and has some of the best structure in classic. His front and side shots are some of the best in the world. In sixth, I have Fabio Junio of Brazil, who won the Extreme Tijuana Pro and finished narrowly behind Terence Ruffin in Dubai. Fabio is massive for classic physique and has one of the best backs in all of classic. He could place even higher if his condition is better than in Dubai. In fifth place, I have two-time Mr. Olympia, Breon Ansley of the United States. I expect the increased weight cap to help Breon come in fuller and rounder this year with the same great condition. He will still struggle to beat some of the younger talent in classic. Fourth is Urs, the miracle bear Kalachinsky of Germany. His structure and condition are fantastic. He's one of the best posers in the division. However, I still believe he needs to improve his arms in order to compete with Chris Bumstead for the title. Third is Terrence Ruffin of the United States. He's arguably the most complete bodybuilder in classic and one of the best posers ever in the sport. However, classic judging at the Olympia has favored taller, bigger bodybuilders, and there's no denying that. Terrence is undoubtedly good enough to win, but is his physique what the judges will be looking for? Second is Ramon Dino of Brazil. Ramon, last year, was the only person even remotely comparable with Chris Bumstead. Ramon brings a complete physique, great condition, and an undeniably classic structure. With improved posing, Ramon can close the gap this year and perhaps give Chris Bumstead the fight that he's been looking for. My pick to win the 2023 Classic Physique Olympia is Chris Bumstead. He's won convincingly every year with the exception of his very first title. Chris brings improvements every single year and I expect to see the best version of Chris in what will be his fifth Mr. Olympia title in Classic Physique. Follow for more Mr. Olympia coverage.